afternoon. The, um, I think I'm the only speaker from a company in a very small space of the economy known as healthcare. And um, our vision is that we're trying to become and becoming the standard exchange platform between providers and other requesters of medical records. So it's a, it's a space within healthcare information technology. We're a software as a service company. Uh, we, what we do is we help providers, hospitals, healthcare organizations, physicians' offices figure out how to efficiently manage that process and move those requests electronically to third parties. It's a $2 billion a year niche in the, the release of information services, about $2, $2 billion a year niche in uh, healthcare information technology services. We're an up and going company. We're growing rapidly. Our revenue is growing at 35, 40% a year. We, this is a list of some of our customers today. But if you think about the concept of exchange, this is one side of the equation. Our customers in the future are going to also be on the other side of the equation, the requesters and, and ultimately patients of, of, of looking for, to control their own medical records. Here's the opportunity. A hundred million times a year, somebody requests a copy of medical records. It's largely a paper process. The last major technological advance in the release of information was copy machines. About, and unfortunately, I can remember when those came into hospitals. But 50 million of those are by external third parties, attorneys, insurance companies, government agencies, others that, have, you know, that, that are requesting records. About half of them are internal to healthcare, meaning copies of medical records being sent between providers. The first group is a revenue generation opportunity for hospitals and providers. That's where the $2 billion a year comes. The second group's a cost. So efficiency is important on both of them, both sides of the equation. And it all has to be done underneath a complex set of HIPAA rules governing the release of information, how it can be done, what can be released, et cetera. So our solution was to come up with a techno technology platform to guide providers through the release process, store copies of the medical records that are released, do all the tracking, and standardize across the system. That's increasingly important in the new world of health reform. As hospitals and healthcare systems are expanding, adding new physicians, buying up physician practices, expanding, merging, et cetera, and to create a standardized process for, for cross-release of information is important to them. Basic process works as the requester asks for a copy of the medical, asks for a copy of records with a HIPAA authorization. Our customers then use our, our web-based uh, record jacket release manager, go online, attach the medical records either directly from their EMR system or scan in records. We have a patented process for combining those into a single digital file. We then take those on the back end, review for HIPAA compliance, do administrative services, and then tell the requester they're ready. The requester goes online, pays by credit card, downloads the records. Major, major movement forward. Three years ago, we couldn't find anybody that would take the records electronically. Today, about 50% of all the records we're moving to these external requesters are done electronically. The key drivers to our growth, financial pressure on healthcare organizations, concerns about privacy and, 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 and regulations, the whole health information technology meaningful use criteria, one of the criteria is being able to move records electronically to patients within 24 hours. We do that for our customers today. Requesters demand for, me for medical records. And finally, electronic medical record systems are islands. They do not provide this kind of functionality. So what we're looking for, capital, partners to help us grow this business. Just to, in closing, I'm going to tell you a quick story. We had, um, when we started to name the company a number of years ago, we tried to work off of the word verify. A creative consultant came up with verism. Now think about it, there are no good isms. Communism, fanaticism, no good isms. So we threw an A on the end of the name. Came up with verisma. About a year later, somebody said, hey, you know what that means? We said, no, well, Verisma, and more properly, Verismo, is a type of opera, opera in the real world. And anybody that's ever started a company know that, knows that that's a good name. 
opera in the real world. Thank you very much.